Over the years, cold showers have seen an increase in popularity, mainly due to external influences like professional athletes using ice baths to recover from intense training. Not only that, but there has been a lot of hype on mainstream wellness and fitness circles claiming that simply taking a cold shower every day can drastically improve your life. For example, some experts claim that cold showers boost testosterone, improve your immune system, reduce depression and anxiety, improve circulation, increase alertness, and reduce inflammation. With claims like that floating around the internet, it becomes very tempting to start the day with a cold shower. But the question becomes, are cold showers really that good for you? And if so, can they actually boost muscle growth? To answer this question, we need to look at what the scientific evidence has to say. Let's start by going over some of the common claims about cold showers. Number one, increased testosterone. One of the biggest claims is that cold showers increase testosterone production, which plays an essential role in muscle growth. However, the available evidence doesn't support this theory, and with some studies even showing a decrease in serum testosterone after cold water immersion. Furthermore, cold water immersion may decrease T-building luteinizing hormones, muscle satellite cells, and muscle protein synthesis, which play an important role in muscle growth. If you're looking to improve your natural testosterone production, you'd be better off improving the quality of your diet, lifting weights, and improving your sleep quality. You cannot neglect those areas and expect a cold shower to have a magical effect on your gains. If you'd like to know more about how to naturally boost your testosterone levels, watch our video, The Only Six Ways to Increase Testosterone Naturally. Number two, general health claims. Although cold showers don't seem to do much for your testosterone levels, they could still be beneficial. There's evidence suggesting cold water can increase T helper cells and lymphocytes, which may boost your immune system. More so, cold showers may also have an antidepressant effect. In theory, exposure to cold water activates the sympathetic nervous system and increases beta endorphins, noradrenaline, and electrical impulses to the brain, which can have an antidepressant effect. You may have experienced this yourself after taking a cold shower, when you feel a surge of adrenaline and increased alertness, followed by some relief that the shower is finally over. Lastly, cold showers may also reduce inflammation. However, the mechanism behind this is not fully understood. For example, a 2017 study in the Journal of Physiology noted that reducing inflammation in muscle after injury, or in this case, a hard workout, may impede muscle repair, and that the process of repairing skeletal muscle tissue is complex. The authors also mentioned that although cold water immersion may reduce muscle soreness, it's no more effective than active recovery like 10 to 20 minutes of low intensity cycling to reduce inflammatory responses in muscles after a training session. In other words, purposefully reducing inflammation with cold showers may actually decrease muscle hypertrophy. So although there were some valid claims about the benefits of cold showers, it seems that muscle growth is not one of them. But this begs the question. Are there any studies that actually compared training followed by cold water exposure versus training without cold water exposure and its effects on muscle growth? The answer is yes. So let's take a look at some now. One 2015 study published in the Journal of Physiology split 21 physically active men into two groups. Both groups trained their lower body twice a week for 12 weeks. The main difference between the groups is that one group underwent 10 minutes of cold water immersion after their workout, whereas the other group did 10 minutes of low intensity cycling. At the end of the 12 weeks, the cycling group saw a significant increase in strength and muscle mass compared to the cold water group. In a follow-up study by the same authors, nine active men performed single leg strength exercises on separate days, followed by cold water immersion or active recovery. Once again, the results favored the active recovery group. According to the authors, cold water immersion resulted in a dampened anabolic signal, mainly from a decrease in satellite cell activity, which regulates muscle hypertrophy. Thus, this could potentially result in smaller long-term gains in muscle mass and strength. Another 2019 study looked at the effects of cold water baths on muscle protein synthesis in recreational athletes and found similar results. In this study, 12 recreationally active men performed resistance training followed by water immersion of both legs for 20 minutes. The main difference is that one leg was immersed in cold water, 8 degrees Celsius, and the other in neutral water at 30 degrees Celsius. Following this, participants were given a beverage containing protein and carbohydrates to ensure the main difference in the study was the water temperature. After two weeks of training, muscle protein synthesis rates were 12% lower in the cold water immersion leg, which is not ideal for muscle growth. The authors couldn't exactly understand the mechanism behind these findings, but theorized that the blunted anabolic response was a result of a decrease in amino acid uptake due to a reduction in blood supply to the muscle subjected to the cold water. Nonetheless, according to these studies, it seems that cold water baths right after a workout can interfere with muscle growth. However, there are a few other factors we must consider. First, 
all of these studies looked at cold water immersion, like cold water baths where you submerge your entire body. Perhaps the results would be different with cold showers, where the exposure to cold water is uneven and for a shorter duration. It's hard to imagine someone would enjoy taking a 20 minute cold shower right after a workout. Furthermore, there's not a lot of evidence on this topic, and although these studies found a significant improvement for the groups that did not use cold water immersion, could they still be relevant and impactful in a real world scenario? Having said that, let's wrap up this video with some practical takeaways so you know exactly what to do, especially if you're a fan of cold showers. Conclusion To answer the original question of this video, cold showers after a workout are probably not a great idea if your main goal is to build as much muscle as possible. However, they may have some utilities. For example, if you're a recreational athlete looking to optimize recovery or reduce soreness, cold showers may be a useful tool, especially if you're not worried about building muscle and your main focus is optimizing your performance. Bear in mind though that speeding up your recovery may come at the cost of reducing training adaptations that result in muscle hypertrophy. On top of that, you can get similar or better results by performing some type of active recovery, like 10 to 20 minutes of low intensity cardio after your workout instead. Lastly, if you're interested in the health benefits of cold showers like increased alertness, you could take them in the morning on your rest days to get the best of both worlds. Finally, as this topic is still being researched, we'd like to hear your thoughts on cold showers. Have you tried them out? If so, how was your experience? Did you find this video helpful? If so, click the like button below as it'll truly help out the channel. Also, if you're looking to maximize your muscle and strength gains, check out our science-based supplement line. Each product was created using scientifically proven ingredients, all clinically dosed and guaranteed to produce results. And right now you can get 25% off your entire order plus free shipping by using the coupon code MONSTER at checkout. So head over to musclemonsters.com slash supplements or click the link in the description. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe for more videos and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss the next one. Peace.